Hi folks, Greg Marchand here with a few words about customer care, calming the upset customer. You can get the book at Amazon. I just want to give you a little hint as to what's in the book and give you some, some ideas on how you can handle even the most upset of all the customers that there are out there. All right, the upset customers make us feel not so hot, right? They, they don't make us feel very good. They make us feel badly. They can insult us or insult those that we work with or care about. And, and upset people can bring out the responses in us that, that we never have. And it will only make the situation worse sometimes. Upset customers might ruin our day. But why are they upset? Well, they can be upset with our product. Maybe they don't perceive we're providing value in our services. Maybe they don't perceive an effort on our part, or they don't feel like their time or money is respected, or nobody's listening to them. Look, there are a thousand reasons they can be upset. What's important is how you deal with them, right? You can see them coming and go to lunch. You can hang up on them while faking a bad connection. My favorite, hand them off to a manager. We see this every day, don't we? Or crawl under your desk and pretend to be asleep. But these aren't the right way of doing it, are they? No, they're not. Let me give you a better way. Listen, empathy and action. These three simple, easy steps will calm the most upset of upset customers and more importantly, get you and them to the point of resolution so that you can keep them as a customer for life. Listen, listen means listen actively. Make eye contact. Yeah, I know you don't want to, but you know what, it's really important. Nod your head, even if you don't mean it. Nod your head, it sends a message that you're listening. And utilize reflection. Only when it's your turn to speak though. Look, listening is what they need the most. I know it's hard, but you need to let them get it out. That's what they need to do. That first pause when they're talking is usually just them catching their breath. All right, don't speak unless it's just to clarify a point until they've run out of steam. And then you can express empathy, right? When it's finally your turn to speak and make sure it is, express empathy. Now, empathy is different than sympathy. It shows you understand. It's not, oh, I'm so sorry. It's, wow, I really get it. I really understand how you feel. Here's some quick examples. I've had that happen, and I was just as frustrated. I don't blame you at all, sir, for being so upset. That must have been scary. Wow, is everyone okay? Your time is more valuable than this, Mrs. Smith to have to deal with something like this. I fully understand that. All right, practice these. Use them, because empathy is completely disarming. They don't expect it. And, and because of that, it can really slow down that big rush of anger that's coming at you. And empathy allows the upset customers to stop and listen for a moment. It can take the legs out right, right out from under them and allow you to get to resolution. Speaking of which, once you get to the listen and the empathy part, now it's time for action. You've got to give them some sort of resolution. I don't care how small it is. They want to know that somebody's doing something. And something in the short term is better than absolutely nothing. Okay? Listen, empathy, action. Try it. Get the book, Customer Care, Calming the Upset Customer. Find it on Amazon. Thanks, folks. Keep up the great work and never stop learning.